Alright, what is good YouTube? This is your boy Bashad and welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. In today's video, I'm going to teach y'all so a tool that you can use later on because I'm going to do a lot of more painting videos. So I'm going to teach y'all how to use Adobe Illustrator. So yeah, you need Adobe. I will suggest getting the little premium plan so you can have Illustrator, Photoshop, and um, Premiere Pro, and I think it's like 30 other apps they have. So yeah, that's good to use, especially if you're a sneaker customizer or like to do crafts. So, on top of that, um, I'm going to use, I have a Cricut as well. The Cricut machines, they cut um, material. So you can use to customize shoes or to paint on shoes or crafts and stuff like that. So I recommend getting one of those as well. Um, in the next video, I can go later in details on which one because they have different options. Um, I have the Explorer, personally. Um, but you can get the Air or the Mini. I think they have a Mini or the Silhouette. Um, or Cameo, I believe they have one called Cameo. Uh, that's the brand, not by Cricut. So yeah, um, I'm going to be down in the bottom corner of this YouTube video. I'm going to be on my computer. So if I'm looking down or looking elsewhere, not at the camera, I'm on my computer. So I'm going to start recording my computer screen. All right. So I'm going to teach y'all how to um, get images from uh, the internet from Google to use to uh, customize your shoes. You can use it as a stencil or you can use the specific uh, image you get to make a vinyl and then heat it on your shoe. Similar to what I do. So, first you need to go to Safari, Google, Firefox, whatever you have. Um, Google Chrome, sorry. And then you go to google.com and you're going to type in what you want to look at. I mean what you want what design you want and I'm going to go and type star well no you can make a star in Adobe Illustrator so I'm gonna do something a little bit more difficult scroll head and then at the end you want to type in SVJ because it'll give you more of uh, the image you're looking for the the um, the type of image that's going to work better you can use PN PNG or uh, the JPEG the JPG um, for Illustrator. Sorry, I'm trying to find one. Uh, just get a little quick one. Um, something that doesn't have that many details. Alright, but yeah, you use it for uh, SVJ is a file that you use to get onto Cricut, and I feel like it makes the image better and straightener more straight like the line straight the outlines or the details so I'm going to use this all right all right so this is a school head see I can download this from this guy but I know how to make it myself so I'm going to save the image to my desktop doesn't matter what you save it as and then I'm going to open illustrator and I'm going to open that skull. Okay, so now we have the skull. I don't want to be in that though. So I'm going to make this bigger so it's easiest, easier for us to see. And when you um, expand images, if you hold shift, it'll keep everything equal and it won't like be flat and stuff like that so just hold shift and it'll get it back to all level and equal how you had it so as you can see I'm real close into this um, skull and it looks like very you can see the pixels and it's like not fully black so all you have to do is image trace um, it's right here make sure that you clicked on the picture that you have in Illustrator so you click on image image trace and see how it looks better see how the lines are straight curved you know nice points and it's nice and black for different um, pictures if it's a color one you might have to use uh, go to the presets the use the photo the high or low photo or three colors six color 16 but um 
I usually use sketched art. Uh, you can use default, but I usually use sketched art because I can ignore the white. Sometimes the default won't let you ignore the white. So ignoring the white means the background. Um, and Cricut, when you're using Cricut, uh, this is a like for a future video, but when you're using a Cricut, you can um, take the white out of the backgrounds and the skull head. You know, if you want to just cut the skull head and have the like the black outline, you can take all that white out on Cricut. But doing it this way, it'll take it out as well. So I'm going to press um, expand, and then there I go ahead. Then that's the image I want. Uh, you also can use this little arrow, and you know I can take this little thing right here off hold on I'm gonna to have to ungroup everything for meantime and I can delete that if I want and I could delete the little eyebrows you can delete you know you can give it a missing tooth if you want so I'm gonna have to un uh, it might not let me I think these are too close um yeah I think these are too close so I can't take one of the teeth out because it's but I can like take these, the jawline or whatever. But all you gotta do is Command Z and it'll bring it back if you didn't mean to do that or if you didn't like it. So I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, I'm gonna group everything back. So I'm gonna just drag over it, group it, and you gotta save it. I'm just gonna do scroll. And I'm going to save it as a SVJ file because Cricut does not um, does not understand the AI, the Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to use the SVJ file. Save it on my desktop. Okay. And there you go. That's what you want right there. And in a later video, like I said, I'm going to show you how to carry that over to the Cricut design space and then you can use vinyl to make that to put on the shoe or use a stencil make it to be a stencil so you can uh, paint the shoe or paint clothing any type of craft wood whatever you're doing you can like do the whole nine yards with this so yeah make sure y'all like this video comment down below and what y'all think about this video or if this if y'all learned something today that's all I'm trying to do is teach people and um, like I said, make sure you hit the notification button so you can look at so you can get the notification for future videos. And I will be showing y'all some more steps on how to fully design the shoe the way I do it with the stencils, so you don't have to purchase any. So yeah, hope y'all like this video. Appreciate it that y'all watching and tuning in and subscribing. Keep doing it. Keep getting me up and trying to get to a thousand, almost at 500. So yeah, appreciate the love. I'm out.